Okay, welcome everybody. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hello. Yes. yes, teacher. Hello. Hi, welcome. Okay. Thank you. So let's talk about the weekend. Okay, the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, the weekend. So tell me what did you do, Fatima? Okay, Gabriela, what did you do during the weekend? What did you do, Gabriela? Okay, Jasmine. What did you do during the weekend? Sorry, teacher. Que no podía ver la pantalla. Oh, don't worry. I was cooked. Uh, pupusas for my family. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Gabriela. Um, what about you, Karina? What did you do? Um, the yesterday I was cleaning the house in the morning and in the in the afternoon I was cooking the the lunch. And also, uh, I was washing the clothes, and in the evening, I sleeping. I was sleeping. Okay, very good. Thank you, Karina. Marlene, what about you? Um, I was work. Uh, all. All uh, weekend and in the night I was stay with my babies. Okay, that's great. And Vanya, what about you? I go to the church. Okay, that's great. Okay, um Jasmine Fernandez. Hello. Hi. The weekend. Uh, I I had a good weekend because I was in the salon. I making take you. Oh. And Next, I I went to Buffalo Wings to eat alitas. We eat, 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 I ate eh, wings, and I stay at home. And I and Sunday, I was clean my house, clean the bathroom. Uh, I went to the gym and I wash washed my gloves uh, and finish. Okay, that sounds great. Thank you for sharing. Okay, let me see. What about you, Xiomara? 
What did you do during the weekend? Good night, teacher. Ah. <coughs> Ay, disculpe, <coughs> que todavía sin un poco más. <coughs> Don't worry, it's okay. <coughs> Mm -hmm. The visit in the um, in the park in San Salvador. Verdad que solo me está preguntando qué qué voy a hacer en la en la, en la semana. What did you do mm -hmm. in the park? Mm -hmm. <coughs> In the park, in the, in the, in the iglesia, un, ¿cómo se pronuncia iglesia? Un, the church. The church, the church, in the church, in the, in the park, in the, in the beach. <clears throat> okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's continue then. So that was just in general to talk about some information, okay? Now, when we use the past, we need to make some changes in the verbs, okay? The first change is with the irregular verbs because they change all of the words. For example, Bani, can you help me reading this example, please? Change the word from Literally, right, road, go, went. Okay, thank you very much. Now look at the words. Are the words similar or different? Gabriela? It's different. It's different, right? Okay, so the irregular verbs are different words, okay? Very good. Let's continue. Now let's check some examples. As you can see, this is the structure that we follow. Can you help me with this sentence, Josue? Um, I go to a water park. Okay. Is the sentence in present or in past? Present. Ah, in present. Okay, yes. thank you very much. So, Marley, what do I need to change to make it pass? What do I need to change? Um, go. Okay. So, what is the path of going? Went. Went. Very good. So now I don't say go. I say went. Okay. Can you read the sentence now in the past, Karina? Um, I, I cleaned the house. Okay, can you read this example, please? I cleaned the house. No, the example that we have on the uh, screen. Uh, I went to the water park. Okay, thank you very much. Let's continue. Let's check another example. Can you help me with this one, Gabriela? We ride a bike. Okay, is this sentence in present or past? Present. Okay. So what do I change to make it pass, Josue? 
read it. Okay. So what is the path of right? Um, right. Ah, bueno, sería Rode, pero no sé cómo se pronuncia. Teacher. Road. Road. Okay. Nice. Thanks. So can you read the sentence now in the past, please? Uh, we rode a bike. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Okay, so now, other verbs are the ones that we know as regular, okay? In the regular verbs, we change only the ending, not the word, only the ending. Examples. Can you read the examples, Jasmine? Watch, watch, visit, and visit. Okay, very good. So look at this. Look at the, at the parts that I have highlighted. Uh, Marlin, are they similar or different? Uh, Similar. Similar, right? Very good. So as we can see, the only difference is the ending. Just this. But the words are similar. Very good. Let's continue. Okay, as you can see, the same structure. But let's see with this word. Mm, Vani, can you read this sentence, please? She watched movie. Okay. So is the sentence in present or past? In the present. Okay. So what do I change to make it past? Watch it. Okay, so I need to change the verb. Very good. So the past of watch is watched. Very good. Let's continue. Okay, same as structure. Can you read this example, please, um, Gabriela? They visit the church. Okay, is the sentence in present or past? Present. Okay, so how do I change it to the past? Is it? Okay, I change this it, and what is the past of this? Is it? Is it? Okay. Nice. All right. So as you can see, we change only the ending. Let's check some spelling rules. Let me see. Josue, can you read the first example, please? The first rule. Uh, okay. Uh, add uh, ID, um, Brian, right, Brian. Right Good thing. Uh, why? Why is it? Okay, thank you very much. So, as you can see, only the ending. This is the ending that you use. Very good. Let's check the other rule. Can you help me with the rule number two, Fatima? Live, live with. Dance. Dancing. Smell. Smell it. Okay. So in this case, the rule is that if you have a consonant plus an E, you just have to add only the D. That is the, the, the structure that we follow. 
So in the number one, what is my consonant at the end? What is my consonant, Karina? The consonant mm -hmm. is little i. The consonant? Mm, uh, B. Excellent. That is the consonant. What about in the number two? Jasmine, what is the consonant at the end? C. Perfect. And in number three, Vane, what is the consonant? L L L Okay, so as you can see, all of them finish in a consonant plus E. So if you have this structure, only add the D. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Okay, next rule. Can you help me with the rule number three, please, Gabriela? Yeah. C, C plus B plus C. 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 Igual. W, D, less C. C. And it E, T. For example, stop, stop him, plan, planning, admit, admitted. Okay, thank you very much. So look at this. Consonant, vowel, consonant. If we have this structure, then we duplicate or we double the last consonant and then we add it. For example, in the number one, look at the last three letters, okay? In these letters, what is my first consonant, Josue, in these three letters? Consonant, um, T. Okay, the vowel? Um, o. And the other consonant? P. Okay. So do we follow the structure or not? Yes. Is the same structure? Um, yes. Yes, okay. Thank yes. you very much. Um, Karina, in number two, for the last letter, what is the first consonant? L. Okay, the vowel? I. A in M and the consonant. Okay, very good. So, do I have the same structure or not? Is it the same? Yeah, uh, yes, it's the same. Yes, okay, perfect. And Ingrid, in the last word, the last three letters, what is the consonant? M. Mm -hmm. The vowel? I, T. And the consonant? T. Excellent. Is the same structure? Yes. Yes, perfect. Okay, so as you can see, if we have this structure, then you duplicate the last one. As you can see, the consonant is the N. The consonant is the T. I duplicate at a double the last consonant. And then you just have to add the E. Okay? That is the rule number two. And now let's focus on the rule number four. Can you help me with this one, please? Um, let me see, Marley. Ending in W, X, uh, Y. Don't double add it. For example, play, player, 
fix, fixing show snow. Excuse me, snow is nowhere. No, okay, thank you very much. So as you can see, if you have a W, if you have an X or a Y at the end of the verb, don't double, don't duplicate, only add the ED. As you can see here, I have the consonant and then ED. I have the consonant and then ED. The other consonant and then I have ED, okay? So let's keep that in mind. And this is the last rule that we will have for the spelling. Can you help me with this one, please, uh, Fatima? Study, study, three, 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 three. Okay. So thank you very much. According to this rule, if you have a consonant plus a Y, we eliminate the Y and then you are I E D. Okay, that is the rule that we follow. Okay, for example, in number two, what is the consonant at the end? Jasmine? Try and try. Okay, but what is the consonant? The consonant the cons is T. T. T, uh huh. R and Y. Okay, so my consonant is R and then I have Y. So we eliminate mm -hmm. Y and then I add I. -E -D. Very good. Let's see number three. Ingrid, what is the consonant at the end? R. Okay, thank you. So I have R, Y. I eliminate the Y. So I add I, E, D, okay? So this is the rule for the Y. I'm going to clear here so we can continue. Okay, now I have to share with you something else so you can keep this information in mind. Give me a second. Okay. So something important that we need to keep in mind about the past regular verbs is the pronunciation. Okay. That is very important. For example, if I have a verb that ends in a T or in a D sound, then the last sound is going to be it in the past, okay? For example, if I have accept, that is a T sound at the end, I'm going to say accepted, count, counted, date, dated, and ended, okay? So if you have a T or a D sound, you always have to use it at the end. Okay, I will rephrase that again. Si ustedes tienen un verbo, no importa el que sea, si es un verbo que el último sonido es el de una T o el de una D, entonces la pronunciación en el pasado va a ser con ed. Por ejemplo, en need, esa es una D. Entonces yo voy a decir needed, needed, ok, ed al final. Lo mismo acá en plant, el último sonido es una T. Entonces la pronunciación tiene que ser planted con it. Ok, aquí tenemos la pronunciación. Now, let's change to a different thing. The T sound. This is, I consider easier because the only thing that you have to focus is on the last ending. Okay, the pronunciation for the last ending. For example, when you pronounce a verb and you don't feel anything here, okay, no vibration, 
only air coming from your lung. Then that is a T sound. Okay? Por ejemplo, cuando ustedes pronuncian un verbo y en el último sonido que ustedes tienen no hay vibración en la garganta, entonces lo vamos a pronunciar con un sonido de T en el pasado. Por ejemplo, cuando digo el verbo ask, ¿ok? Este final se escucha como una pequeña explosión. Y en la garganta no siento nada, solo siento como una pequeña explosión. Ask, ask, ¿ok? Lo mismo cuando digo el verbo dance. Si yo continúo ese último sonido, dance, es como un sonido constante. Okay. Cuando yo lo pronuncio, no siento nada de vibración acá. Es solo aire que está saliendo de mis pulmones. Lo mismo cuando digo finish. Es finish. No vibration. No hay vibración. Porque es solo aire que está saliendo de mis pulmones. Entonces, cuando tenemos este tipo de sonidos al final de los verbos, que no hay vibración, que ustedes no sienten nada en la garganta cuando lo están diciendo, el sonido final tiene que ser el de una T. Entonces, por ejemplo, acá yo no digo dress, sino dressed. Finish, finished. Jump, jumped. Ok, we are going to add the T sound again. And then we have the other one. This one is different. Ok. If, for example, I have a vibration, I feel vibration when I pronounce one specific verb, then the last ending should be with a D sound in the pronunciation. For example, answer, answered, belong, belonged, climb, climbed, all right? So, um, cuando ustedes tienen verbos que en el último sonido que ustedes hacen, sienten vibración acá, entonces nosotros vamos a hacer el sonido de D al final. Por ejemplo, en answer, si continuamos haciendo ese último sonido, el R al final, se van a dar cuenta que se siente mucha vibración en la garganta. Es el último sonido en el que ustedes se tienen que fijar. Lo mismo en arrive, arrive. Entonces, si yo continúo con ese sonido, Ok, si no paro, si yo continúo, voy a sentir mucha vibración en la garganta. Entonces, todos esos verbos que al final te, me hacen sentir vibración en la garganta, ese sonido tiene que ser con una T al final. Entonces, es arrive, arrived, change, change, climb, climbed. All right, ahí vamos a utilizar la T. Y como algo extra, Normalmente todos los verbos que terminan en vocales siempre van a sonar con este porque todas las vocales producen vibración. Si ustedes dicen A, E, I, O, U, todas las vocales tienen vibración. Entonces cualquier verbo que termine en una vocal normalmente lo hace sentir a uno vibration. Entonces el ending tiene que ser con una D. This is for pronunciation. Ok, esto es para la pronunciation. Questions about this one or is it clear? Ok, hey, nice. So I will send you this, uh, this information so you can also have it, ok? Yo les voy a enviar esta bolsita que les acabo de mostrar para que la guarden porque les puede servir mucho. Just give me a second so I can send it to you. Okay, I just send you the list to the chat so you can save it, okay? Now let's continue.
Okay. So now that we finish with the pronunciation, we can continue with the structure. Now, the structure that we follow for the negative is a little bit different. So let's identify those differences, okay? All right, can you help me reading the first example, please, Gabriela? I did not, not go to a water park. Okay, thank you very much. So what is the subject, Vane? I. Okay. What is the auxiliary, Fatima? Did not. Did not or only did? Uh -huh. Did, only did, or did not? What is the auxiliary? Only did. Only did, excellent. So this is the auxiliary for my part. Now, what is my verb, Ingrid? Go. Go, excellent. And the verb is in the present or in the past? Present. Okay, excellent. So we say that it is in the base form. Nice. And what is my complement? Two uh, water the path. Okay, water very the path. good. Nice, that is my pump. So as you can see, we follow the stroke. Excellent. Let's continue. Okay, if you don't want to say the expression did not, Okay, you can also say the contraction, didn't. Okay, that is the contraction between did and not, didn't. Let's move along. Okay, can you help me with this example, please, Jasmine? We did not ride a bike. Okay. Thank you very much. So what is the subject, Yamada? Right, right, reader. The subject. Uh, we, we. Okay, the subject is we. Very good. What about the auxiliary, Ingrid? Okay, what is the auxiliary, Josue? Um, did. excellent. What is the verb? Um, Bane? Right. Okay. And the verb is in present or in past, Bane? Present. Okay, excellent. Or we say the base form. And what is my complement, uh, Marlene? A bike. Good. Okay. So we follow this structure. Nice. Let's check some more examples. Can you read the next one, please, um, Karina? She, she didn't watch a movie. Perfect. Next example, um, Josue? 
Va a repetir, por favor, maestra. Teacher. Read the example. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, they did not visit the church. Okay, excellent. All right. So now that we check this information, we got the structure in mind and we can continue. Let me share my screen. Okay, so in this case, um, we are going to type our name, okay, because your name is not here. So please type your name. And for example, if my name is Susana, as you can see, my name is not here. So I'm going to click on create, okay? And I'm going to rephrase that in Spanish for this activity. Cuando ustedes ingresen a este enlace que les voy a enviar, su nombre no va a estar aquí. Entonces asegúrense de escribir su nombre. Y si se fijan, así como les puse en el ejemplo, you type your name y luego damos clic en crear. ¿Ok? Si por alguna razón hay alguien aquí que tenga su mismo nombre, entonces solo pongamos un apellido para que podamos hacer la diferencia. Pero yo creo que ninguno de los que están acá se parece a alguno de sus nombres. So in my case, I have my name here. So I'm just going to click on my name. And automatically, you will see the activity that you are about to complete, okay? So you are going to see the name of the activity. That is simple past. And then I'm just going to click on launch, okay? Then when I see this picture, I just click on start. And they will give me 10 sentences so I can select what is the best option to complete the sentence. Okay. Eh, esta actividad la vamos a hacer en equipos. You are not going to do it alone. Okay. No lo vamos a hacer solos. Entonces, cuando les envíe el enlace, eh, ustedes terminan las 10 oraciones y luego vamos a trabajar con más información. Okay. Aquí lo único que hacemos es completar la información con lo que nos están preguntando. Así que leamos cuidadosamente la oración para saber cómo lo tenemos que completar. Por ejemplo, en este caso, they are asking for the past simple of the verb stand. Ustedes ya tienen la lista de verbos. Entonces, solo revisemos la lista y vean cuál es la mejor opción para send. ¿Cuál es el pasado de send? Ok, luego seleccionamos una de las opciones y ahí nos van a decir automáticamente si es correcta o no. Ok. So, um, again, for this one, you will work in the rooms. So, I will open the rooms so you can practice with your classes. And then we will continue with some more information. Just give me a second. Okay, I think that for this one, maybe I can give you 15 minutes just in case. And as soon as you finish, please let me know. So uh, we can continue with something else.
Sí, sería nuevo. Creo que hay una opción donde dice lounge. Voy a ver si es ahí. Sí, creo que es en lounge. Lounge, perdón. Y ahí le va a dar como que dice estar. En grande. Eh, la segunda creo que es no no o la última no el pasado simple de sen entonces sería sender Sí, vamos a ver. You should look at the information that I sent you. Sí, eso es lo que me Sent sería entonces. Ah, la primera, Mari. Sí. Pues aquí la lista que nos mandó. Ah, oh, ok. En WhatsApp. Okay. Ah, la lista misma. La lista misma. La misma sería. Ya lo encontró. ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es? Absorbed. Absorbed. Oh. Sí. Excellent, you got it. La siguiente es accept. Vale, siguiente. Read the sentence the uh -huh. company adopts a new color no, the past. Sería la que termina con ED de adopte. Adopte, yes. Uh -huh. Es correcto. Read the sentence. Esa sería la que es como San. San es, algo así. San. San. Creo que es. Ah, no estaba mal. <ríe> Okay. Read the sentence of the cat always see by the window the best of the bird see. Sad. Sad. Okay. Bye. And the other one is. Read the sentence my father usually sleeps five hours at night. The best um, Es ah. sí. sentence, my baby speaks really well. Es Spoke. 
es poca, ajá, es poca. Sí. Adopte, creo. Adopte. Uh -huh. oh. Sí. Y me sacó. ¿Me sacó? Sí, yo, yo le dije que sí se podía meter al link cuando me metí. ¿Me sacó? De verdad. Sí. Me voy a meter a ver si la vuelvo a agarrar ahí otra vez. José, sí, este punto. No, yo. Punto. ¿Por cuál van? Vamos por las siete. Ah, me. ¿Y usted terminó? Sí, yo, o sea, yo me metí al link y yo las empecé a hacer y yo dije, quizás ahí la puedo encontrar y yo vi que yo solita empecé a hacerla y ahí ya no quedé dentro <ríe> del grupo. ¿Y ya terminó? Ya, ya sí. Sí, <ríe> sí, terminé rápido. Ay, qué alo, pues, pues. Solo en dos que me equivoqué y en las demás no. <ríe> En esta es Cine. Sí, ¿Hay con uh -huh. sí. Vale. Vamos con la 8. Dice de cada momento. Sí, es. Yo creo sí. que sí, siempre. Así como el otro de shots. Sí. Es sat. Sat, mhm. Uh -huh. Sí. Okay, sí. La otra es me falta sí. Así, quizás. Es slip, en el slip, es slip. ¿Dónde está la T? Ajá, es S L E P T, creo que sí es. Es slip. Ah. Ajá. Sí, sí. eso. Es bárbara, gracias. <risa> bueno, la última baby speak really well. The world speak. Este es, es, speak y spoke. Spoke, es spoke. Sí. Ah. Es spoke. Uh -huh. Sí. Ajá. Sí. Con la ED será adoptec. Sí, esa es adopte. Ed, ed, adopte, ed, dos t, creo que yo. Ed, termina con Ed. La uh -huh. última. Sí, es así. Sin. Pan. Ajá, aparece San, pero ahí no aparece para Ajá. ponerlo. Solo San y Zoom. Bueno, uh -huh. aparece.
We finished the teacher. Uh, I am going to start at the class or finish the class. Oh, actually, I have one more extra activity for you, but we are going to do it together. So I will send you back to the main room. Okay. Los voy a enviar al main room. Solo vamos a esperar un minutito más para los que terminen. Okay. Okay. So let me close your room. De verdad, yo ni aún porque ni aún así oh. pude. No, si bien rara estaba, por eso yo me quedaba así. Yo no, ya no, ya no, ya no quería seguir porque ya me estaba estresando. Sí, yo igual en el trabajo trataba de avanzar y no podía hasta que después, hasta hoy. Y me puse a terminar Ajá. lo que me faltaba porque llevaba 61 todavía. Yo vi los mensajes cuando escribieron de que la, que estaba, la plataforma estaba fallando. Sí, ajá. Uh -huh. Yo igual, así que no dijo de reportar. Y rapidito me dice, no entiendo qué es lo que no le que no entiendo. Y le mandé la captura de todo, todos los errores que había captado. Como seis veces lo había hecho. Y ella me lo arreglaron allá. Ajá, sí, pero a mí me pasó al principio, de ya no. Ajá, a ver, a saber. ¿Por qué le está dando? ¿Por qué no había pasado eso nunca? Ya primero pensé que porque estaba saturada, dije que ya estaba saturada la plataforma. <risa> Okay, the rest of the classmates are coming back in a few seconds. Okay, welcome back, everybody. All right, um, so I thought we were going to have more time to complete another activity, but I'm checking and we are not going to finish it. Okay, so thank you very much for coming and we will continue tomorrow. Enjoy the night. Take care. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye.